The Haunting is a 1999 remake of the classic 1963 movie. And this movie stars Liam Neeson, Catherine Zeta-Jones, or Zeta-Jones, Owen Wilson, and this other chick who looks a lot like uh, the chick from The, the Mist. The, oh, Marsha Gay Harden. She looks a lot like her, but it's not. I thought it was, but it's not. So the plot of The Haunting is basically sort of the same plot from the original, but done a lot a lot shittier. So Liam Neeson is this doctor uh, of something. I don't really remember because I don't really give a fuck. And his basic thing is sleep disorders and stuff like that. So he decides to take a group of people with sleep issues to this big mansion because he knows he can get a better rise out of them in a mansion so they probably won't sleep as comfortably knowing they're in a freaky environment and shit like that. Unbeknownst to them though, the house is haunted by the spirit of its owner and builder who wants these kids for whatever fucking reason. He wants the kids, even though the kids are already dead themselves, but somehow he doesn't know this and it's a lot of bullshit that I have to explain and I'm not going to because I'm not you guys don't need to see this goddamn movie because this movie is ass garbage The Haunting is literally literally the worst remake horror remake 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 anything to do with a remake of all fucking time and I'm not stressing when I say that. I've seen a lot of bad remakes. Michael Bay's remakes are this goddamn bad. At least they somewhat make sense. But then sometimes there's, there's always something stupid in it that fucks that up. But no, this whole fucking thing is fucking stupid. CGI looks like PS1. As a matter of fact, this is 1999. We're going getting ready to go into the PS2 era. So the PS1 was still relevant then. So yes, that is saying a lot when this movie happens. And the shit, the, the, the fact that they rely so much on CGI in this movie is re insulting to my mind. Because it, it reminds me a lot of today's movies that relies a lot on CGI for something that should be so simple for a movie like this. You don't need CGI all through this goddamn movie that, that you don't need that for when A Nightmare on Elm Street from 1984 did not use one drop of that shit. All that shit was practical. You mean to tell me you couldn't get somebody to crawl under the covers a little bit and just move around and then fix that with editing to make it look like they're sliding around like a snake? That had to be CGI. You couldn't get a little kid to do that. It had to be a CGI ghost kid, right? Right. And she's merging into the pillowcases and shit. And the fucking curtains and shit. And shit in this movie makes no fucking sense or is stupid because the characters, I shit you not, are written so fucking stupid, I feel like I'm watching a movie that is starring a bunch of five year olds. Because that's exactly what they sound like in this movie, including the lead lady in this movie, which is not Catherine Zeta Jones. She sounds worse than she do. They sound like a bunch of kids. They act like a bunch of kids running around a haunted mansion. This is like a shittier version of the haunted mansion than that movie was shit. The only, only decent thing about this movie was Liam Neeson. That's it. You want to know what Owen Wilson's job was in this movie? Pointing out the fucking obvious that will make Captain Obvious do the face palm Picard moment. Like, you know how Picard does that face palm? That's what Captain Obvious is doing in this movie. Watching this movie. He's just sitting there like this the whole fucking time Owen Wilson comes on screen and says something. That's all he does is point shit out. The fuck 
fucking movie! Really? Dude, don't stand there! The thing is gonna fall! No shit, Sherlock! The whole fucking staircase is falling! We see it! You ain't gotta call out what we're looking at! These statues are really creepy. Oh, really? You th this says the man who's in a haunted mansion. And that's another thing. You're inside of a haunted mansion. You hear all this weird shit going on, right? Yet, you're blaming each other for writing something 25 feet in the fucking air on a wall that nobody can possibly reach. And it's like, it takes forever for the whole other half of the cast to realize the house is fucking haunted because for whatever reason, the only main chick whose name I can't fucking know, I don't fucking know anymore because I didn't give a fuck <laughs> the Marshall Gay Harden look like can only see these people and she's the only one freaking out about this and people are thinking there's something wrong with her because she's having to sleep deprived because she has a slight sleeping disorder whereas everybody else have a full sleeping disorder but the only one with a somewhat of a decent head on their body no one believes she literally sees a ghost one moment screams her head off and possibly runs oh but that moment I just mentioned where the ghost child comes and merges with her pillow the pillowcase that's literally right next to her face and she fucking looks at it and she sees the damn thing talking to her oh I'm just gonna turn back over and go to sleep or whatever and shit like that she does nothing else she doesn't scream she screamed when she saw a dead lady hanging from a fucking thing but she doesn't scream when a ghost child is talking to her two feet away from her face are you fucking serious Taking a shit on this movie would fucking hurt. It would fucking hurt. Because it's just a bunch of shit that's coming out of your ass crack that this movie has. You're literally shitting out this whole fucking movie. And it would hurt. Because it hurt watching this goddamn movie. This movie took forever to finish. It's only an hour and 52 minutes in. This movie felt like it was 2 hours and 25 minutes. I can't stress how slow this movie was taken, and it was on Netflix. Ah, oh, God, damn! And then the ending, the whole fucking reason for this movie, the whole fucking reason for these people in this house, the whole fucking reason that the main chick is no longer scared is fucking retarded as shit, and it just really really brought the rest of the fucking movie down even more than everything else combined and I am giving The Haunting 1999 an F or a fuck you I don't know I haven't decided how about both fuck this movie and fuck all y'all for starring in the goddamn thing <laughs> yes even you too Liam Neeson Fuck you! People get taking shit! Taking is better than this goddamn movie! Ugh. Let me know what you guys think about this piece of shit down below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Who the fuck would like this? Who the fuck would like this? And it does. It makes the first one look like Jesus Christ walked on water for the first time. That's how good this one makes the original movie look. Because the, the original one is a better movie, no doubt. Even the same scenes that were reshot in this movie suck dick compared to what they had in the last movie because they're not done with the same level of care that it was done in that movie. The four or five minutes that one scene will take in the original take like a second here and it has no oomph to it. Really. You know how much mo how much better this movie should have been. This movie had several 
this movie has several writers, okay? Not even writers, but directors. And I'm going to look them up right real quick. Because this is bullshit. This is fucking bullshit. Uh, so, Yan DeBont is the director of this movie. The director of Speed! And Twister made this shit. Wow. Uh... Wes Craven was developing this remake at one point, but he dropped out to do Scream. You want to know who the other two awesomeness was going to do this movie? One as director, and the other one as the fucking writer? Both Steven Spielberg and Stephen King. <coughs> How fucking badass would this movie have been if either one of those three were on this movie? Hollywood, you fucking suck. You fucking suck.